Madam President, this is a very sad day for our country. Agencies of government are in the process of closing down. The ramifications of the shutdown in Washington uh, could be serious for America and for the global economy, but it will largely depend on how long the standoff goes on for. Unfortunately, Congress has not fulfilled its responsibility. It's failed to pass a budget, and as a result, much of our government must now shut down until Congress funds it again. In the short term, some parts of American government business will be affected. Uh, some uh, workers have been uh, sent home, laid off temporarily. Um, but the anticipation in financial markets is that there will be some sort of accommodation between the Democrats and Republicans during the next couple of weeks. As we gather here, right near Statuary Hall, I'm reminded that President Washington, when he was leaving office, cautioned against political parties that were at war with their own government. We're unhappy uh, because we think that shutting down the government uh, will uh, uh, hurt the economy, hurt the national security, uh, undermine any morale that's left of our federal workers, and do what the American people don't want done, and that is to shut down government. The really important deadline is October the 17th, which is when there has to be some resolution as to whether America can raise its debt ceiling. Uh, America runs a very big national debt, uh, and if uh, there, there's no agreement on raising that ceiling, then it would start to default on its, on its debts. That would affect bondholders, holders of American government debt, both at home and, more importantly, around the world. That would have catastrophic uh, implications for the global economy it would lead to a collapse in the bond market and that would really set back global recovery and potentially push the world back into recession. It is embarrassing that these people who are elected to represent the country are representing the Tea Party, the anarchists of the country, and the majority of the Republicans in the House are following every step of the way. Uh, the House has uh, made its position uh, known very clearly. We believe that we should fund the government, and we think there ought to be basic fairness for all Americans under Obamacare. Uh, the Senate has continued to reject uh, our offers, uh, but under the Constitution, there's a way to resolve this process, and that is to go to conference and talk through your differences. And I would hope uh, that the Senate uh, would accept our offer to go to conference and discuss this so that we can resolve this for the American people. Everybody's expecting uh, the uh, two parties, the Republicans and the, and the Democrats, to come to some sort of agreement before October the 17th. Uh, and, and that's why financial markets have been relatively relaxed about the shutdown today. They expect uh, President Obama uh, and his political enemies on Capitol Hill to come to an agreement. But if they don't, the implications will be very, very grave indeed. One potentially good piece of news for the global economy is that the Federal Reserve will almost certainly now delay removing some of its stimulus from the American economy. For the last four or five years, the uh, American Central Bank has been providing help to the American economy to, in order to boost growth. And it's been umming and ahhing this year about whether to start withdrawing some of that stimulus. It now seems unlikely that the Federal Reserve will do that and it will carry on pumping money into the American economy in order to offset the, uh, the effects of the government shutdown.